Well, glorious November autumn day on the West Pennine Moors in northwest England. This is where all the water gathers. But where we're going to actually go fishing is an urban location where all the same water ends up. And this is the River Ribble in the city of Preston, or right on the edge of the city of Preston. Tidal stretch. Tide's just backing off and the place where we are there's a junction with one of the main tributaries and this is reputed to be a good high water holding place. Ribble's actually running a spate maybe a metre and a half at the moment. A lot of water coming down and a lot of water coming down the tributary too but the tributary is a lot calmer, a lot slacker. So I've put a few maggots and casters in and I'm going to see what turns up. Probably dace and small chub, but with a bit of luck, a bigger chub, and with a great deal of luck, a lovely roach. A lovely big river roach would just set me up. <laughs> okay. Well that didn't take long, well that's a, I'm sure you can see um, what I'm doing is trotting with a nice uh, Meteor Avon float, it's a um, 15 foot float rod, um, I think a three, pound, three, three and a half pound line uh, 1.7 hook length is what I started off with, with an 18 uh, red maggot hook and fishing with maggots and casters. And to be honest, I think it must have been pretty well a bite every run through of the floor. Um, <laughs> they'd certainly found those maggots and casters no trouble. And uh, a lot of small fish, uh, initially dace and then quite a few small roach as well. Great fun and really good sport on this, uh, this bit of free fishing. I also prepared some mashed bread to there in the landing net um, which I started to feed with a, a view to fishing bread flake a bit later on. Also noticed while the bread was soaking in the landing net something came up underneath it and seemed to attack it. I don't know whether it was very small dates, dates and roach fry that were trying to get to the bread and then there was an, either a big perch or a pike or something underneath them. Quite interesting anyway for maybe for predator fishing at some other time. Um, so the bites came thick and fast, plenty of fish and eventually I decided I would make the switch to bread so I, uh, I upscaled a bit, I went to a 2.8 hook length with a, a 12s uh, spade end hook on and fish the bread flake under the float hoping that I might get fewer bites but slightly a slightly better higher stamp of fish size wise which proved not to be the case <laughs> really as I carried on catching the uh, small fish but they tended to be roach roach and a few chublets the dace seemed to uh, back off from the bread um, when I say old fish, I did old small fish. I did get one slightly better roach, maybe I don't know seven ounces, something like that, which uh, was very welcome. And I thought that might be uh, a sign of things to come, but it proved not to be the case. Carried on getting the small ones again. So one thing to mention with this uh, particular spot. Um, can be quite dangerous. There's a lot of Himalayan balsam but more worryingly a giant hogweed which the time I was there in mid-November it had uh, all died off so it's quite harmless but I can imagine in the summer this can be quite a hazardous place to fish with the, uh, the giant hogweed which is of course is toxic when it's uh, in bloom and full of sap. 
Um, the other thing to mention is the very slippery banks. With it being a tidal stretch, every high tide, the bigger tides reach this part and uh, flood the banks uh, and you get this co coating of sort of very slippery, slimy silt. So try to avoid the temptation of getting down to the water's edge. Uh, stay back a bit because if you do get down to the water, you'll have a hell of a job climbing back out again. Very slippery banks. So something just to be aware of. It's free fishing as far as I know. Um, maybe uh, keep to the path and avoid going on the field, especially if there's crops in it. Um, Go down the lane or path, whatever you call it, to the Ribble and then walk the short distance upstream along the banks of the Ribble. And then we can keep the, uh, the farmers happy. Although I failed to get uh, any of the the big roach that the Ribble's quite famous for, what uh, I did manage was a nice firm bite uh, on one of me umpteen last casts, as I could hardly see the float, and um, a nice solid fish hooked, which uh, you'll see right at the end of the video.
Chicken Roach. Anyway, I hope you've uh, enjoyed the video. If you have, please subscribe, share and comment. It'd be great uh, to see some more support for the channel. And in the meantime, tight lines, have a nice uh, session wherever you're going next time. Okay, bye bye. And there we go. Absolutely cracking chub. Look at that, right at the last minute. It's uh, a very good fish that, which uh, certainly made the session. Very small roach, regrettably no big roach, but chub on bread flake, right at the last minute. That's happy man going home now.